What's up YouTube? So in this video we are going to be discussing the subject of how do you get perfect corners using a corner trowel or as we like to call it a twitcher. Now the one that we use uh, in our opinion we think is the best one on the market by a country mile is the Ragni one. I'm not sure if it's the 90 degree or the 103 one to be perfectly honest with you but if you're in the market for a new corner trowel in our opinion this is the best one. You will get superb corners but that is on the assumption that you know when to use it. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're actually gonna show you each stage of a plastering set that I'm gonna ask you, would you use a corner trowel at this point or not? So where we are in this room right now is I have just applied the first coat and just gave it a very quick pass over with a speed skim. So if I now show you the corners, you can see, hopefully if I, Get some light on the situation. You can see these are the corners. So as I say, we've pretty much just thrown the plaster on. So my question to you is, would you use a corner trowel at this point? Well, for those that have answered yes, I'm afraid that is the wrong answer. At this stage, when you've just applied your first coat of plaster, you do not use a corner trowel. What is the reason why? Quite simply, because the plaster is wet. Now, pretty much all of us, no doubt, have seen a finished job and you look at the ceiling line or the walls and there's undulations in the ceiling line. What is the reason for that? It's because this tool was used too early. Yes, you never use uh, a twitcher or a corner trowel when the plaster is wet. A good rule to follow is if you wouldn't be applying water to the plaster to improve the finish, you shouldn't be using a corner trowel. Yes, a corner trowel, it is too easy to dig in uh, the, the uh, plaster and then you get a channel either side of the wall. That's not where they're designed for, they're designed to fill out corners and to form them but not particularly to get them straight. So that said, how am I then going to straighten these corners because they look a mess? Let me show you the right way of doing it. And all you need is your plastering trowel and there is a simple trick that will straighten out your corners almost immediately and you think to yourself, why was I using a twitcher in the first place? It's completely unnecessary. Let me show you that trick now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to my corner and then we're gonna get my trowel and you're gonna get the nose of your trowel and you're just gonna push down like so. Down, 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 all the way to the bottom and back up again. And then you're gonna go again. Down, 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 all the way to the bottom. Like so. And then what you're gonna do is get your trowel and just pull us pull away. One all the way down. Like so. You can see how wet the plaster is. And then back up. And then we're gonna do the same again. Really pushing that gear in. It doesn't matter if you hit the other side of the wall. You're not looking to fill it out. You're just looking to get it straight. And then pull it up. You'll notice my trowel is at a slight angle so only one corner of the trowel is hitting the wall. Like so. So now that is straight. And this is the same with every corner. You can see, run the nose in, run the nose in. Don't worry about any holes. Same again, across, across. But all that's doing is just flattening those corners. It works exactly the same with a ceiling line. So you're going to run the toe, push hard, push hard. And what you're doing is you're flattening this area here. Nice and hard. And 
then pull away. Remember, this is just the first coat. And then along. And again, pull away from the corner. And then straight. Okay, so that section there, although there's holes in it, it's now straight. So what we're then gonna do, is we're gonna run around and do all of our corners like that. And what it does, is that foot, or however big your trowel is, that section is perfectly crisp. Then when you apply your second coat, we'll catch up then, and then decide, are we gonna use the twitcher or not at that point. Okay, so the second coat has now been applied to all the walls. And if we were to have a look at the corners now, they look like this. So the question is, would you use a twitcher at this stage? Again, the answer is no. What was the rule we said? If, you weren't, if you're not in a position to apply water to the plaster to improve the finish, it is too early for a twitcher. <coughs> if we were to have a look at the walls, you can see they are very, very wet. So what are we gonna do? Same again, we're gonna use the trowel. We're gonna do is we're just gonna push the trowel nose in like so. One, this is a lot harder. while holding the camera. There we go. So you can see straight away that's starting to straighten up its corner, that corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around all of my ceiling lines, all of my corners, and just use that nose of the trowel and just push the plaster into the corner and then just uh, pull the trowel out just to straighten it out. As I mentioned already, it is so important that you do not use a twitcher when the plaster is really wet. As the phrase goes, it isn't the wand, it's the wizard that creates the incredible work as it were. A twitcher is not a magic tool that creates incredible corners. It might give the illusion that it looks incredible, but actually when the light's on it, it's not straight at all. You have to straighten these corners out first before you use the twitcher. So what we're gonna do, go around all those, my internal corners and straighten these out now using the trowel. Okay, so we are now at the stage where Lou and I, we have just closed this plaster and we did it off camera. So the question now is, should you use a twitcher now? Well, the answer is yes. Why is that? Did I not say that only at the point where you would add water to improve the finish? Well, very often when you're closing plaster, you tend to brush out the corners a little bit just to give a little bit of lubrication. So we've added water. So it is A-OK -okay to use the twitcher for the first time. So let's have a look now. The first time using the twitcher. So this is the same corner we've been looking at. Twitcher in the corner. Pushing nice and hard, and straight away. Corners are filled, but most importantly, they're perfectly straight. Same with the ceiling line, this unsightly corner that might uh, have put you off originally. Push it in. You can see there's still a little bit of movement but the plaster's firmed up a lot more. You can see how much is coming off. 
If on your Twitcher you're getting huge amounts of plaster coming off the back of it, that is a dead certain sign uh, that you are twitching way too early. Same again, into the corner, pull down, into the corner. If you're getting no, nothing really coming off the twitcher, that is a good sign that you're hitting it at the right time. Because what you're not doing is you're not dragging the plaster off where the wings are on the twitcher. looking just to push that nose of the twitcher just see how straight that is coming out and there we have it that is the first twitch dub oh yeah don't know how straight that's looking unfortunately there is an ultra wide camera uh, ultra wide lens on the GoPro so it has a, a habit of just ever so slightly curving uh, the line So what I do is I actually take some photos and put some stills up at the end where you can see down the corners So you can see how straight they've come out But that is the first time you should be using a twitcher is when you have just closed in the plaster at that point It's firm enough to start using this tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch up once we've done our first wet trail Okay, so these walls have had their first wet trowel, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the twitcher for the final time. So if we go back to the corner that we've been starting with, you can see there's just a small amount of fat in the corners from the wet trowel. And lots of pressure, pushing down into the corner. And there we have it. And then, and then the only other thing to do is just use your brush and then just gently brush the corner like so. Now what I'll do is I'll go around and so then what I'll go around do is I'll go around and twitch the rest of the corners. Um, but that pretty much is it. Uh, at this point, uh, there isn't any more reason to use the twitcher. What we'll do is actually do another wet trowel after this, but we actually won't use the twitcher. We'll actually just brush the corner. The, it's all been filled out. It's all it's got its shape, etc., so forth. So, on the assumption that obviously we don't damage the corner, there is no reason to use that twitcher again. So, in summary, what really have we learned? Well, the important thing to remember is that you never use the twitcher when the plaster is wet. Only at the point where you start introducing water, even if it's just brushing out the corners, it's at that point you would start to use that twitcher. That way you're guaranteeing that you're not pulling out the plaster from the corners and you get those nice, sharp, crisp edges. But as promised, these here are the pictures of this room all uh, finish now so you can see how, how straight and how sharp we were able to get the corners by leaving the use of the corner trail on the twitcher to the very end. Thank you so much for watching the video, we hope you enjoyed it. Consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.